This podcast was brought to you by Uncle Jeep Productions. Hey guys, and welcome everyone to the German Jeep Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Jeep, and with me is host from Media Gaming and special guest, Jeff Troidvania. We record this podcast live every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, or anywhere you listen to podcasts. This week, guys, we had a humongous thing happen. I don't know if you heard about it. You may have seen it, a couple things here and there, uh, but there was a Nintendo Direct, and we got a lot of good things that came out of it. We're going to talk about all that stuff tonight, including Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. You got to get used to saying that. And... Echoes of Wisdom, the Legend of Zelda game that features Zelda as a playable character. Holy crap. But we'll get to that in just a second. But first, let's introduce our guest here, Jeff. Jeff, good Hello. to have you, man. <laughs> good to be here. Um, it's good. I, I, Abby's grandfather used to say, like, if he said uh, good to see you, he used to say good to be seen. I got like, come up like, like if, if, good to have you. Good to be halved. I don't know. <laughs> good to be had. Good to be had. Um, but yeah, man, I, you, I, you came over from the communication there, guys, uh, and that, that's where I discovered discovered the talent that you are, um, <laughs> and you've been hanging out in the streams a lot, and I know that your name is Metroid or Jeff Troidvania, and that there's a heavy emphasis on the Troidvania part of your name, I think. Um, yeah. You like Metroidvania, is that right? Yeah, uh, very much so, yes. I don't yeah. think he's ever played one, actually. It's oh, really? become my entire identity at this point. <laughs> well, I, it does become, you made it. <laughs> yeah you named yourself that way it's totally fine it happens <laughs> yeah cool man yeah so i mean that's a large reason why you're here today unfortunately my original idea was to have you on mainly for silk song um unfortunately yeah. we didn't get silk song yeah um, can we just uh it's buried right it's done uh, they gave up on it is it is it yeah. done they're just ghosting everybody they've turned their they turned their ringer off yeah they're gone it's over. But when was it announced, Silk Song? I don't know, 100 years ago. <laughs> the same time when they re announced that Metroid Prime 4 was getting re Holy shit. Again. It was before yeah, COVID? Wow. It was 2019, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it was As, like a lifetime ago. And I assume you're a big fan of the Hollow Knight series. Or at least there's only one game in the series, yeah. right? Uh, Hollow Knight's awesome. It's one, of, it's one of the best examples of a Metroidvania that you could play. It, it's, it's very good. One it's of the difficult. few games that's always on sale that I have not picked up at, to this point, which I, I really need to. Uh, it was on sale for like eight bucks yeah. one time. I, I just didn't do it. I, I really need to get it because I, I know people talk about it all the time and I believe it. I just need to actually experience it. I think I own yeah. it on I own it on two systems. I own it on Steam and on the Switch. Ah, Yeah, I think I have it on Xbox. Uh, definitely Switch. I, haven't, I, I think I have it like three places. I still haven't beat it. Yeah. It's hard. It's really hard. It's a, it's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, that's enough for Silk Song because it didn't happen. But there's a lot of stuff that did happen, and it's it's really exciting stuff. But before we get to yeah. any of that, uh, two things I need to do. First thing I need to do is read the five-star review oh, yeah. of the week. This week's five-star review uh, came from a person that is known as T. T.Y. Humphreys. They wrote, best Nintendo podcast. I started listening to this, the Drew G podcast a year ago. I always look wow. forward to their opinions and predictions. These guys always stay positive and optimistic. Do we? Do we? <laughs> I didn't know that. That's news to me. Uh, uh, one, thanks. Of us, one of us stays a little more than the other, maybe. But. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you have to. <laughs> <laughs> now we're obligated, yeah. <laughs> thanks for always making me laugh. T.T.Y. Humphreys. Thank you for letting us make you laugh. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for the five-star review. You are qualified to win a $50 eShop gift card at some point in the future. Probably soon. <laughs> but uh, we'll, Halfway through uh, July. Yeah, we'll let you guys know uh, when that's happening. But all of you who have five-star reviews, uh, if you have not won yet, you already qualify, even if it's in the past. So appreciate you guys. Jeff, you qualify as well. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, everybody qualifies. We'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. Uh, next up that we need to do. Uh, what, what? Oh yeah, that's right. So the last episode that was posted to the pod feed uh, was the game. The, the where we had Johnny on. Thank you, Johnny, again for coming on. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we played a game that night, a direct predictions game, and we, we are going to get to the results of the predict uh, of the, our uh, what we predicted and see who came out on top. Who has got to chop off the pinky? Drip. Hit the music. All right, I think it's going to be a close one. 
I think it's going to be a very, very close one. Maybe the closest uh, I, one yet. I, it is. It's going to be very, very, very close. And it's cool that we have three instead of just you and me. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna go down this list very quickly so we can get on with this. Uh, Dragon Quest 3 2D HD. We all said yes. So that is one point for each of us. Uh, were they going to make it one through three? I said yes. So I get a point for that. You guys said no. Yes, so we I'm did. I'm up by one. There you go. Mario Sports Game. We all said no. Does that mean we get a point? Yes, because there was no Mario Sports Game. So three. It was a DLC for a Mario Sport or for a, a Switch Nintendo Sports, sports, not a sports game, sports but not a sports game. game. Yeah, this specifically uh, this is Mario, Mario Mario Party. There was a Mario Party. There was. We all said yes. Hey, there Four, you go. Three and three. I'm up by one. Uh, 3D Mario. <laughs> what, what's, what's the results, Drip? <laughs> uh, I'm still at four because I said yes. Yep. You guys are now at four because did, you said no. Did you so really believe it? Did you up. really believe that, Drip? Yeah. I was trying to will it into existence. Man. Shut the fuck up. All right. Okay. Metroid Prime 4. Hey. We got it. Yay. It's so cool. Okay. We'll talk about it. Five, five, five. Uh, Zelda Wind Waker. Mm. <laughs> you, you said it again. That's another chip for I, you. I, I, I said yes. <laughs> so I get no points. Oh, no. You guys said no, which means you both are tied and ahead of me. Twilight there you Princess, go. we all said no. That's a point for me. Perfect. A point for you and a point for Johnny. <laughs> a new 2D Zelda. Mm, I said yep. I said yes. You did. Uh, I, I you give you credit for that no. one, Drip. I give you credit for that. That yeah, was a, yeah. that was a good prediction. Because of course, it's easy to predict all the Zelda stuff right now. Because I mean, we've been here Wind Waker, Tall Princess for how many years now? So you actually got it right on the yeah. day that it happened. Lots. So credit to you. Oh, there, there's more. Oh, there's more. Don't you worry. <laughs> uh, you also said 2D, there's a 3D Mario coming. So let's not well, forget I about that. I also said that Zelda was going to be the playable character. So you did. You, did, you nailed it. You nailed it. Um, okay, 2D Zelda port. I said no. That's a point for me. Uh, Jeeb said no. That's a point for him. Johnny said yes. He gets zero oh, points. No. Oh, okay. poor Johnny. So you and I are tied. Johnny's back one. All right. Anything Animal Crossing. And no, the Hello Kitty game that is a complete <laughs> clone of the Animal Crossing <laughs> New Horizons game does not count. Johnny said yes. Why would he do that? I... I don't know. Okay. Oh, no. You said no. I said no. Yeah. Uh, we're both tied at nine. All right. Donkey Kong 3D. We all said no. So that is going to be 10 points for me, 10 points for you, and eight points for Johnny. Well, Johnny, you letting us down, man. Although I kind of thought that I thought Johnny would be behind. I don't know. He said some crazy stuff. <laughs> uh, 2D Donkey Kong. We all got that wrong. So yes, we, we did. At the same point. Good thing we I'm did. Really that, surprised that, that game looks that. fun. Even though it's a port, people complain about that. Yeah, it, it's fun. Star Fox Zero. Uh, we all got that right. <laughs> you and I are at 11. Johnny is at nine. New Star Fox. We got that right. We said no. You and I are at 12. Johnny is at 10. All right. Uh, new NSO system. Didn't happen. Did not. I said no, so I have 13. You said no, so you have 13. Uh, Johnny said yes, so he <laughs> stays at 10. Very optimistic. I was trying to tell him while we were doing it, like, listen, dude, your emotions are going to get the best of you. I know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do, do it they every really time do. we play this game. Okay. <laughs> Zelda movie cast. I was really, really banking on this one. Didn't happen. I, I said know. yes, mm. so I stay at 13. I think I said yes. You right? said yes. Yeah, I got stay I, at 13. I, I joined the hype on that Johnny one. Johnny said no. He catches up a little bit. He now has 11. Ooh. Uh, Zelda Warriors game. Didn't yeah. happen. Did not happen. We all got that right. Don't correct? worry. It's still. Yeah, we, we all got that right. Don't worry. It's, it's still. It's coming. Don't it's coming. Switch two. It'll absolutely come. Uh, so we got that right. 14, 14, and 12. Among Us DLC drop. And it dropped that day. We all got that it, right. The sun 15, also uh, rose 15, and fell that day as well. 13, yeah. Uh, Xenoblade <laughs> Chronicles X ported. Uh, I said no. That gets me at 16. You said no. That gets you at 16. And Johnny said yes. Yes, he so did. He stays at 13. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. 
Switch Sports 2. Mmm. I, so, I said, I said yes. So I get no points. I stay at 16. Oh. Mm -hmm. Jeeb said no. He pulls ahead with 17 points. Hey, Drip, you know what else I said? Now I got the I got the sport wrong. But I said it's okay. no, we're, we're not getting there. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, there. okay. I we're forgot we added Calm that. Down. No. Hey, I'm give me credit. Okay. So give me my just credit. to just to get back to everybody so you know, uh Jeeb is winning right now with 17 points. I'm in second with 16, and Johnny's cutting his pinky off with 13 points. Yes. Okay, the next thing. What a rough day. That's uh, going to be when Zelda, he eats the chip. As the playable character in the 2D game, I said yes, which gets me at 17. Jeep said no, yeah. which keeps him at 17. Oh, Johnny no. said no, which keeps him at 13. Jeep and I are tied. Uh, Kid Icarus, Uprising, Port, we all said no, so I'm at 18. You're at 18. Johnny's at 14. He's back four. It's going to be tough to come back at this point. All right. Uh, Metroid Prime 2 and 3. We all said yes. So we all stay where we're at. I blame, 18, I blame you for that, Drip. You, you got us all hyped for that. <laughs> I did. I'm I thought it was going to happen, too. It's fine. Uh, yeah. I, uh, motherfucker. <laughs> what? Pokemon... Pokemon Z A. Yeah, I you said, said yes. yes. Oh, no. So I stay at 18. You said no. You go up by one with 19. Johnny said no. He's at 15, making a comeback. Hi-Fi Rush. We all said no, which would have been cool, but it gets me to 19. Gets you first one to 20. Let's go. And Johnny's at 16. F Zero. We all said no. So I'm at 20. You're at 21. And we have 17 over here. Kirby! <laughs> I said no. There was no Kirby, right? There was no Kirby. So I'm at 21. You said yes. Damn it. 21. Oh, no. uh, Johnny said yes, so he stays at 17 too. Uh, ooh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Didn't see that. No, we did not. Surprisingly. Yeah. I said yes, so I stay at 21. Oh, no. You said no, so you go up to 22. Johnny ah. said yes, so he stays at 17. Silk Song. We all said yes. <laughs> oh, no. Rest in peace, everybody. Anything Ugh. Smash. Did we see anything Smash? We did not see anything Smash. Not even so an I stay at 21. You said no, you go to 20. Three, I think you're gonna win, dude. Uh, and Johnny said no. He goes to 18. He goes to who cares? Move on. <laughs> no Yoshi. Uh, 22 for me. There was no Yoshi, right? I don't think so. No Yoshi. No, I don't think so. Okay, 22 for me. 24 for you, and 19 for Johnny. Okay, Oracle Games. I said no. 23 for me. You said no. 25 for you. Johnny said yes, so he's going to oh, stay at 19. No. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> what, a direct, what a direct he was predicting. <laughs> Switch 2. I said no, so I go to 24. You said no, you go to 26. Johnny said yes. <laughs> so he stays at 19. Yeah, that's a weird yes to say. That is a very I love how we have... I'm oh, sorry, go ahead, Jeff. I'm sorry. I was like incredibly... He's, they were incredibly clear. <laughs> More than once. I think I talked him into that, honestly. You did. Kind of baited him into it. Uh, a 99 game, which we did not get. Yeah, we, I think we all said yes, right? I said no, which oh. gets me to 25. You said yes, which yeah. keeps you at 26, which means I'm back within one. And Johnny was wrong. Like he has Johnny been for a yes. while. And he stays so at the 19. 99 oh. game, for the 99, the, um, there's that compilation that had something that was like a 99 thing that was going on. Do you remember that the NES game compilation thing? Oh, that doesn't yeah, count as a 99. Yeah, That's doesn't say count. like 99 in the title, right? But yeah. Count. Yeah, or yeah. Something like that. Or yeah, just a number. One of those we, we're we're going to say a number. number games that's on the Mario 35. And, oh, God, okay. It. And for the last one, Switch Sports DLC. I said no, oh, which was no. wrong, which keeps me at 25 points. Jeep said yes, which takes him to 27 total points. 
Johnny said no. He's going to be cutting off his other pinky or pinky toe, whichever he has left. Jeeb is the winner by two. I'm tired. With 27 oh, I pressed the wrong points. button. Shit, I did it again. I did it Jeeb. again. It's the first time you've ever it's won one of these. Uh, you Sorry, say a few Justin words? Timberlake was just yelling at us because I pressed the wrong button. Jesus, I'm so stupid. I did it again, Josh. It's the first time you beat me. It's the first time. Uh, I was trying to hit the Zelda happy song. Can you play the, the, the Zelda happy song for me? That was what I was trying to do. Thank you. Um, I won. <laughs> yeah. We didn't know already. I'm very proud of that. Um, you should be proud of your Zelda take because you, you nailed it. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's not like I was the only one saying that. It was out no, there. I just I was believed it. I but, was in it. I was in. But people were saying the, the new game for Switch Sports, and I was the one who was saying no way. And not only did I say no way, I also said I put that on the board for us. I'm like, no, no, guys. Yeah, you that, was, that was the one you added. That we was gonna were, we're going to get a new game. like Or, excuse me, a new you did say sport. that. I'll give you that. Because I thought, you I thought, I thought it'd be baseball. It looked like a baseball diamond to me because there was an empty spot there. I'm like, they're, they're going to fill the empty spot. There's no way they have an uneven amount of uh, yeah. uh, of sports there. It's, they're going to fill it out. It's right there. You would think. And they did. And it's basketball. And it looks incredible. I, guess, I suppose that's where we can kind of start with the direct since we're talking about it. Uh, yeah. the, the Switch Sports DLC is really cool. It's a free update. I forgot again to check when it's coming. I don't know. Summer. When, so this summer, perfect. They just said summer. So we'll be getting it soon. It's a free update, and it it actually made me excited. It was it was the most exciting thing that I saw before we got to the big big hitter stuff. Um, yeah, now that was cool, and it was like the three like you said the three point contest thing. That yeah, that's sick. That's yeah. awesome. It is. Uh, they you, don't have that in the the game. Whatever the NBA two K, whatever the yeah. hell it is, right? Yeah, yeah, NBA two K. Yeah, rest in peace, live. Yeah, live. I had that one. I had both on Xbox both. One. <laughs> Uh, are you, are you player of the Switch Sports games, uh, Jeff? Uh, I haven't played the new one. I actually don't. I haven't. Last time I played any of that was like when I was back on the Wii, actually. <laughs> yeah, but the one on the Wii was great. So yeah, I mean, this I one's mean, pretty good. The bowling is the bowling is incredibly accurate. It's like, fun, crazy, too. crazy, like, super fun. And I don't know, Jeff, have you played the the golf? Yes, we. <laughs> that's where Johnny really crushed me. Uh, yeah, on Friday I, night, that was that was. I'm rough. actually pretty decent at the golf. It's 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 very sensitive. I'm terrible. That's for sure. I wonder it's if like, I, I wonder if I should try different joy cons. I was having the hardest time. Like I feel like the smallest little movement for putting resulted in a smack. And when I was trying to drive the ball, it never kept me true. It could be it all could be me, but like I I can't do it. I guess you know I just can't say, play the game. All, it's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. <laughs> it's all in the hips. <laughs> Um, speaking of all in the hips, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but Donkey Kong Country Returns HD is, I saw, thought we're getting a, a Donkey Kong 3D game, which I think I voted for. I, no, actually, I vote, I talked it up, but then I voted it down. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you took 10 minutes and talked about how it was happening and then said, no, it's not. Yeah. Um, but yeah, talk, uh, Donkey Kong uh, Country Returns HD looks really cool. Now, of course, it is a, uh, a port from the 3DS. No, it's, a, it's a remake. Is it a remake? Yeah, I guess, right? I don't know. I mean, uh, it was on the it was on the 3ds. I I don't know. It's just an it's HD ified. It's the definitive version. There you that, go. That's okay. a good way to put it. We're gonna call it. Yes. Because Donkey Kong Returns was on 3ds and on the Wii, and so it's both levels from both of the games. Okay. There you go. So it's so like it's, a, got, it's like, got all the levels. The definitive edition. Yeah. That's exactly what it yeah. is. You're right. For uh, twice it looks, the price. Looks really good. It looks really good. Um. Probably not gonna pick it up to be honest, but maybe I'm probably gonna. If if it's one of those might, games that gets on sale, uh, I'll probably do it. Um, is it is it gonna be sixty? Do you think? I imagine it yeah. will be sixty, probably. But I, this is definitely one of those ones that's gonna be like one of the ones they drop to thirty thirty five dollars, whatever it is. Whenever they do the holiday sales, this will yes. definitely yeah. be one of those thirty five. That's a pickup for me. Thirty five. I, I was thinking they it should, should be do a, a combo of that and Tropical Freeze in like a sale six, combo. I'll pay sixty yeah, bucks for that. Was an idea. Yeah, I'll pay six. Yeah, Jeeve, have you played Tropical Freeze? No, it's just a game. One of those games oh, that's that eluded me to this point. I just, I, I don't love the uh, the original Donkey Kong games, I, the two D side scroller Donkey Kong. I don't enjoy them that They're much. So good, man. They're I know so good. It's, it's just something that I can't appreciate. I, I just can't get into it, and I don't talk shit on it. I just, I just can't get into it. That's you know? another one, man. That that's those games are not easy. No, yeah, I mean yeah. for for platformers right. like the way that they are, they are. There is some skill involved in those for sure. I I really really loved Tropical Freeze though, and this 
it looks just like tropical freeze and we did find out yeah it's not i was wondering who did it and it was uh forever entertainment is the ones who did it forever i was wondering okay oh yeah i was wondering who did who did the the game i thought it was you know uh whatever uh retro studios but it wasn't They, they, they did a good job with it it looks great yeah it looks awesome that's cool i'm probably gonna get that one I think that means that in some way all Donkey Kong Country, at least the platformer 2D ones, are all going to be available on Switch in some way after that releases. Because you yeah. have Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3 on NSO. Well, and the then only you have Tropical Freeze on this one. The only one that, the side scrollers, yeah, but the only one that's yeah. not is the, the 3D right. 64 game. Which, why, the, why is that not on there? That should be on there. I've 100%. never played it. I didn't know it existed, to be honest with you. I, I, I would love to try it, and that would be a great way to do it is put it on that service so I can actually, like, try it. I'm sure it'll be on there eventually. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's start with actually the first thing that popped up in the direct, not Among Us, like I predicted. <laughs> it was Mario and Luigi Brotherhood, which I believe is what the name oh, is. Yes. Please, please, Jeff, go for it. Oh my god! So it, have have you guys played the original Mario and Luigi games from? Like I have Creek not Red? played. Yeah, how yeah, many yeah, are there? There's a few of them. There was a few. There, I, I don't know the exact amount. There was a bunch of them, and they're all really good. Um, the they're basically like they're Mario RPGs, but like the way that it works is that like Mario can do certain things, Luigi can do certain things, and you got to swap places to do like solve puzzles. But when you get into battles. It's if you've played Mario RPG, like the Super Mario RPG, where you gotta like press the button at the right time. Yes. It's, it's that, but like on steroids. So like someone will throw a shell at you if you press the right time. You don't get hit at all. Well, that sounds the shell fun. Will go right by you. You jump over it. Um, there's moves where like you you combine Mario and Luigi to do like a special move, and you gotta like press buttons in a certain way to like make the move happen. It's like that's super like, interactive. That's like RPG as well. Yeah, but it's like way more interactive than. Yeah. Than Super Mario RPG was. Okay, that's that actually it's, sounds. Yeah, and the the like art style game. being kind of like 3D, almost like almost anime ish, like cel shaded, really kind of fits because the GBA ones were kind of like that too. But yeah, yeah I think I've, this is the first one Jeep started uh, graphic shaming. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I gotta be honest, I do not like the way yeah. it looks. I do not think it looks <laughs> like the art style. I do not think it looks good graphically. I thought it was a 3ds game poorly ported that's what i thought of it uh just gut reaction I, you're talking positive things about it and ha, ha, me never playing any of the games in the series and drip neither i was having a hard time like seeing any good things about it what you're telling me makes me excited for it i hope that the game is better i hope the art style grows on me more uh but if it's listen if it's like rpg i'll play it because I liked RPG, and that and I'm not an RPG guy. I'm getting more into them as I uh, grow my gaming uh, uh, palette, if you will. Um, so yeah, I will give it a shot if it's if it's like RPG, but on steroids. Because that's the stuff about RPG I liked. I really did like uh, the timing stuff. I liked the combo attacks with your other pals that you're playing with. That sounds fun. So yeah, uh, and, and uh, there's clearly a huge demand for it. Uh, not only mm-hmm. the uh, we. Uh, uh, Mario Luigi franchise, but also just they're bringing back Mario RPGs left and right. Um, Nintendo is yeah. recognizing it. There's a demand for it. I think it's good. I think it's good for, for the series because clearly it was kind of dead to this point. So I hope they were kind of revised it so that they uh, revived it. So that's that's good. I'm, I'm happy that they put that out there. Maybe I'll watch the trailer again and maybe I'll give it a, 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 bit, a more fair shake. But uh, The original, the very first one, Superstar Saga, is on NSO. Oh, on the game oh you know, it, it is. You're right. So and I saw I it there and I ignored it because I just don't never played any of the And the series. last one, the last one to come out was on the 3DS, right? Was that the yeah. Bowser's inside story or something like that? There, Yeah, there's a couple on 3DS. Let me see. I think that was the last one. That was one that came out, I think, when the Switch was out. It was one of the last games on the system, if not the last game. Might have been the last game, actually. Um, the last release. Sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Um, it was, it was, it was. Look it up as if I can see it. There, <laughs> it was one of the last two, ones. I know two. it was that and Luigi's Mansion. Uh, whatever. 
port that was for the 3DS. Those are like the last ones, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, let, Jeff, let us know if you can see that. anything there, Jeff. But uh, we'll move on to uh, uh, Mario Party, which everybody and their mother was re leaking. You fucking dogged it so hard. God, it Dude. might be the best oh, Mario Party no. ever. You gave it so much shit. I couldn't even hear what they were talking about because you were giving it so much shit and so mad that there was a fucking Mario Party game. All I wanted to hear was what was going to be in this Mario Party game. And the only thing I heard the entire time is, what the fuck? Another fucking Mario Party? What the hell? I'm so sick. Mario Party. Like we need another Mario. You <laughs> greedy Nintendo. You assholes. Like, shut up, Jeeves. I want to know what it's about. <laughs> I want to know what they're going to do. It looks awesome. Oh you can play God. with up to 20 people. Like, what the fuck, dude? This is going to be sick. <laughs> and you hate it on it. Oh, my God. I, I, I said in your guys' Discord, or maybe in Jeep's Discord, I like, my, my wife and I go to her friend's house almost every Friday, and we play Super Mario Party with, yeah. with them and their kids. Really? And Yeah. And we, have, we don't even play like a regular game. We just go to the mini game section, hit random, and we just play random mini games. And we, for hours... That's actually it's, the way to do it right there. That's fun. Yeah. Who cares about you the can, board? Yeah, just do the mini games. Yeah. Oh my and god. You get to pick what yeah. position people are in and stuff. So like yeah. if you have like a three on one or like a two on two, like you could you could pick before like oh, how you want to cool. do it. Like, so like, like teams or whatever. Yeah. That's fun. Definitely got me. He quoted me. I put up on the screen. He oh no. Fucking quoted me. Nobody buy this. Don't don't buy this. Don't reward this. That is exactly what he said. That's exactly what he said. I'm like, James, shut the fuck up. All right. Can let me let me defend myself again because I all did right. this last night on the uh, our members podcast. Thank you guys, all you members who showed up to that. Made it really yeah, fun. Yeah, last night was great. It was a ton of fun. I want to talk about that really fast. My power was out. I did the members podcast from my phone from the back porch <laughs> <Yep>. outside. <laughs> It was great. It, was, it actually worked out really well. Yeah, it got dark. We uh, we actually had um, we gave members their five minutes up on stage. Yeah, to, anybody who wanted to hop in to uh, talk with us. So yeah, they if you want to become a member. Oh, yeah, uh, we do that once a month, and you can uh, be a part of the podcast. That is so correct. Click yeah. the little button by the subscribe button to become a member, and you can uh, join us next month. Yeah, and if you, can if see you all try ones, from your uh, if you try from your iPhone, it d won't work. Apparently, iPhones don't even show that button. So yeah, you, need, you need to try, like, go to your, your browser. And if you want to join that way on your phone, go to your browser, force desktop, or just go to a computer if you have access to that. Um, <laughs> that's the positivity we come, all come for. Okay, yeah. let me defend myself, because I did it okay, on, on the ahead, podcast ahead, last night, ahead. but nobody got to hear, nobody outside of members got to hear. Okay. I was wrong. <laughs> that's Thank big you. of you. Thank very you. Big of I you. was wrong. I, I yes. was... I was wrong, very, very, very wrong. Um, I'm a turkey. I, you caught me. Um, I, I was. I can't believe how wrong I actually was. But, 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 here's the thing. My sentiment of what I'm saying about that game holds true. I think. Okay. It is a cash grab. It's Nintendo's yeah. biggest cash grab of all. I think of all the games they put out because they just pump them out every couple years. They yep. Just pump them out. And they, have. they look will. and they look the same as the this, all the console generation Mario parties look the same. They just add five more maps, five more maps. This one has what seven more maps? Oh, why not just one with like twenty? What? How about that? So, well, because then they would. My frustration make money is still valid because people buy them all. That's why because they buy them. I know a new Mario Party comes out. If you play Mario Party. You're fucking buying it. As the you consumer, though, That's it. from a, 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 a and, uh, from a lens that we look at it on the show, yeah, we understand. Of course, that you're right. As a lens of a consumer, that should piss you off. Like they're taking advantage of us, guys. Jeff, like they're just Jeff, putting games. Are you buying? Are you buying this Mario Party game? I'm 100 percent buying this Mario Party. <laughs> I rest my case. That's it. That's it. If you're a consumer out there yeah. and you like like getting BF'd, you know, every single time from Nintendo because they put a new game out. Like, enjoy drip just likes it you know i don't i don't judge drip what he likes to do on his free time if you do it my dude that's not something okay. i'm into so i'm gonna buy it too because <laughs> apparently i love it too <laughs>
But I'm going to buy it because it looks awesome. They put a, That's a great game. It's the best Mario Party game I've ever seen. It's the best game on the Switch. I was very, very wrong. And I should not have shit all over it before I even saw it. Uh, judging right. the book before I uh, saw the cover. Or uh, whatever the fuck it's saying is. I don't know. <laughs> that's good enough. That works. That's not it. But that's close. It's not it. No, yeah. You, it wasn't it. But I, I, get, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Thank you. That's my life. That's not, you didn't say that right, G. But I get what you mean. Yeah. I know where you're going with that. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, it's um, yeah, I was very wrong. I apologize to the fans of the series who were offended by my remarks. But please understand where I'm coming from is your better interest. Like it, they're just they're just milking you. They're just milking you, and I don't like it. I don't like it. And again, on the show, I I I, I clarified this as well last night. You run into issues because not everybody can afford to buy three Mario Party games in six years. Not everyone can do that. Because especially if they're a kid and they're like, yo, ma, buy me this game. In six they're, years? They're, they're like, w- dude. In a span of six years. Some kids' parents can't afford to buy them many okay, games. Well, and listen, Drip, if they, they got the first game and ma, they ma, they go to mom, hey, I want to buy this game. All right, what's the game? Mario Party. Don't you have Mario Party, Johnny? Little Timmy? We have Mario little, Party at Little home. Jimmy? We have Mario. Exactly. We have Mario Party right there. We're not, I'm not buying any of that. You already have it. But mom, it's a new one. I don't care. And that's the thing that's going to happen with a lot of kids. Now, of course, you're an adult making your own decisions. You know, do your own thing. But as far as like, the, especially kids, which, hey, guess what? It's a kid's game, mainly for kids. If a kid wants it and they ask their parents and they go, oh, well, you no, we're not buying you that game. You already have it. Play Mario Party, the one you have. But they don't understand that if they don't get it. All their friends are going to get the new one. And then that, now they can't play with their friends. All because Nintendo well, now you're just much saying money. little little Johnny's mom is an idiot is what you're saying now. No, I'm not, I, no, no, it's, it's I'm a, just not sure. If that's I, how I, my I, that's how my parents were back in the day. Like we couldn't afford to buy every single game. And if, and if I were to ask my mom right. to buy me the same game on the same console, but she doesn't understand that the new one is what everyone's gonna be playing now, and now the game that I have is completely pointless. Who's gonna play the old one now? Nobody. Uh, but you know who's gonna? The kid who still got who still has it is gonna play it by himself. Super Mario Party. Sold 20 million copies. You are an evil corporate bastard. <laughs> and you don't give a fuck about anybody else. <laughs> Except your bottom dude, dollar. What are we, is what that are we what you're telling me, Drip? How, Mario you have any heart Party to the ki- little kids who can't Mario play Mario? Mario Party superstars sold almost 13 million copies. Like, we're talking about, you know, we're all pumped for Metroid Dread. Or I'm sorry, Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Dread sold like 3, mil- 3 million copies. Mario Party. 13 million right here. 20 million. We get it, Drew. That's they sell they a lot. That's why they keep doing it. Because they can put that out every couple years and sell like crazy. I guess to reword my que- my, my concern, wh- aim slash question, wh- wh- it's not why are they putting them out. We know why they're putting them out for money. My other question, my, my, the new question is, why do they keep disrespecting their audience by keep by putting the same game out three different times with slightly different alterations? That's offensive to a consumer. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. It is. Is it's it? Of, yes. No one else seems offended except you. I bet you there's a lot of people. <laughs> the only one and all, the kids, seems to be all the kids out there, kids at home who don't listen to this show because you shouldn't, um, you, I'm there for you. I'm Uncle Jeeb is here for. I'm everybody's uncle. I'm everybody's favorite yeah, uncle. That I'm sounds, that, looking out yeah. for you. I if you're like at home sounds. playing that's Super Mario Party while all your friends are gonna get <laughs> j- jamboree and never play with you again, hit me up, little kids. He said, hit I'm, me everybody's up. We'll uncle. Play ja- I'm everybody's uncle. I'm everybody's uncle. We'll me up. play Super Mario Party together while your friends oh are playing God. jamboree. Oh God. Okay. No. <laughs> we have to. We have to take that completely out of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you just said. <laughs> None uh, of that can be on the right. internet after. Anyway, uh, it looks good. I'm going to get it. Okay. <laughs> after all that. Yeah. After all that. God bless America. Um, oh, man. So we're probably going to move on now to uh, yeah. the, the meat and potatoes of what was announced. I don't think there's anything else, but any re- requests before we move on, Jeff, anything you want to hit up? I know there was, a, there was an indie game in there. There was a Metrovania. I think you probably want to talk about that. I don't remember the name of. Yeah. Oh my! You don't remember the name? Jesus. No, I'm sorry. It, it looked great. It, That's all I remember about it. It was it was called Mio Memories in Orbit. Okay. Uh, and when good. I when I first saw the trailer first started, I remember being like, "What is this?" Because it didn't make any sense. It was like a cinematic part or whatever, like a mm-hmm. whatever, yeah. like a cutscene. 
you know, like it was really weird, but I'm, you know, what? I'm, I'm super into weird, weird games, so it's fine. So I just, you know, I kept an open mind. But the moment I saw what it was, I was like, oh yeah, I, I, I wish listed it. Yeah, <laughs> but on Steam, it, it does Ooh. look good. The art style, the art Ouch. style looks. Oh, on Steam, Ooh. on Steam. Yeah, that's that. That game looks like it might struggle on the Switch. It seems like it, either yeah. either that's the frame, the frame it's like that on purpose, which it might be. Or it struggles on the Switch. Either way, I think that might be a Steam game. If you got the Steam art Dad. style, looks great. Yes, fantastic. I love that art style. Looks I think wonderful. that's the the one thing. Jeeb, I think was like, is this? What did you think it was? Uh, Blue Fire. Uh, Blue Fire. When I You're saw like, the character come out of the game? ground, I was like, this that looks a little bit like the. Blue, it did a little. Blue fire. I mean, I can see, I can see okay. why you said that, but I don't know. I, yeah. As soon as I, as soon great. as I saw the gameplay, I was like, either the Blue Fire team is making a Metroidvania or. Uh, or it's some other something else that just looks like it. You know, it's pretty obvious that it's not Blue Fire. But initially, I'm like, ooh. But that's what made me yeah. interested. And I'm like, ooh, that's Blue Fire. Oh, it's not? But I'm still interested. I want to see what you got mm-hmm. going on there. And it, it does look really good. Uh, do, do you know anything about the team who made, the, who made that game, Jeff? No, I don't know anything about it other than what was in the trailer. I know that I watched the trailer, immediately went on the Steam, <laughs> see if it was on there, wishlisted it, and I'm just going to wait for it to come out. Whenever it yeah. comes out. I don't remember what the time what the I was about to ask, said. yeah. I don't I don't know when it was either. But it did look good. That was one that definitely stuck out that wasn't like a first party Nintendo game that I was really excited about. That did stick out to me. It was yeah. Looked nice. Anything really else that you saw, Jeff? Uh hold on one second. Oh we'll hold it just says twenty twenty five. Okay. So it's not oh, it didn't a give a date. No. And I, I really want to know too how many 2025 games there were because there were a good bit they said there wasn't going to be any 2025 it was all focusing on 2024 games releasing this year and nothing I, about the and switch I, too damn it i didn't look that into that Drew. i was going to look into that but there were so many 2025 games i, I there was a lot of 2024 I mean, games too i mean technically it could be this fiscal year and it would still make sense if it released before march yeah i guess so yeah if they're yeah. just saying yeah, this year talking not not being specific if it's actually in the calendar year or their fiscal year. Right. It's a three month difference. So you're right. You're right. I didn't think about that, but either way. They always do that though. They're always like, Oh yeah, we're gonna focus on games that are coming out for the first half of the year, and then they're like, Holiday twenty twenty four. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> you just said you just said you weren't doing that. Why are you doing that? <laughs> um, um, okay, so let's move on to a couple things that um didn't happen. Or a well, we already talked about Silk Song. We actually, so we we don't need to do that again. We did talk about Silk Song that already happened. Another thing that didn't happen is Howard Warriors: The Imprisoning War. I, I leaked the game, as you all know. Oh yeah, um, you did. You did leak the game. I did not leak a date. I did not say it was coming tomorrow. Although technically, I did during our predictions, but that wasn't a leak. That was just an opinion piece. You know, I wrote an opinion piece. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a journalist now. I leak stuff. Oh, um, a leaking. Leaker journalist. Insider. Oh yeah, the best insider. Kind of yes, an insider. An insider. Keeps the insider. I'm call me Woj. Uh, you know, love that. You, um, yeah, but, I got it. But uh, anyway, uh, no Hyrule Warriors. Not surprising though. I really do think it's a 2025 game. It, well, I, I'm sorry. I think it's a Switch Two game. I do not know if yeah, it's 2025. Right. Uh, I'll I'll talk to my sources. We'll get back to you on that. But I, I, I definitely do think that game's happening though. I, it's got to happen. Dude. It only makes sense. It's gotta yeah. happen, and, and of course it's a it's coming for the next console because if you guys played the original, um, well, should I say, Age of Calamity, that one was a calamity as far as its frame rate. It was just yeah, it ran like a turd. And this, it, you know, you, this is not oh, Jeeves complaining about frame rate again. No, if no, you if this, no, it was it, like six frames per second at certain horrific. points of the game. Yes, it was very bad. And those be- warrior games, they've loaded up the screen with with characters. So yeah. like it's well, not yeah, really a game meant for the Switch. No, and, and well, that the crazy thing is though. The the one before it, Hyrule Warriors, the definitive edition or whatever they have on Switch, it runs sixty frames per second on Switch. Docked, docked, docked. Okay, whatever. Because, uh, you know, the other half of the way people play does not run sixty, so it's important to mention that it yeah, runs well, age, age sixty. Of Calamity docked runs a solid mostly four frames per second. It's it's parts. variable when you run it uh, docked. It's not always sixty. It's it's mostly yeah. sixty. Handheld good. is not a great experience. It's a it's not a lock thirty, and it's fine. Either way, Age of Calamity is a cal- like I said, it's a calamity of a frame rate. It's really not good. 
Um, so yeah, not, you didn't get your game. And it's it, coming. Not, not yet, but it'll, it, we will get it. And that is the game that I thought was going to be the the rumored Zelda Nintendo. I'm sorry, Zelda playable character game for Legend of Zelda games. That's what I thought it was going to be. All these rumors, I was convinced of myself that that's it's going to star Zelda. It makes all the sense in the world. We're going to see her side of things from Tears of the Kingdom perspective. You know that that's that that's what we're no, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely not. We got a bombshell. They dropped a brand new 2D top-down Zelda game. Brand new. I can't believe they did that. But not only did they do that, they threw everybody for a curveball. Was like, hey, Link, nah, homie. He's not. He's not the playable character today. Not he's today. He's he gone. Out of hole. You don't know where he is. They kind of tears of the kingdom link like they did Zelda in Tears yes, of the Kingdom, they did. which is kind they of did. fun and crazy. But right before Link fell in that hole, he he knocked Zelda out of her encaptured resin, <laughs> and she's the playable I'm character. I'm gonna say it was in a crystal. We're gonna call it a crystal. It was a, it was a crystal. It was a rupee. A it was definitely a rupee. I feel. Attacked. Oh no, it was a crystal. It was definitely a crystal. Being attacked. <laughs> um. Whatever. Tomatoes, tomatoes, <laughs> crystals, resin. Doesn't matter. Uh, Zelda's a playable character. That's what's important. And I I, I have no words. It, I'm very excited. It looks stunning. Yeah. like It looks amazing. Where do you want to start, Drev? Go, you, you're the Zelda guy. Dude, I mean... Okay, first of all, this the is, name, I think this what, is the craziest thing. Echoes of Wisdom is an interesting of, name. Uh, it is. It is. Uh, we're going to do a whole episode on this, so I don't want to go yes. like super, super deep in all this. But I just I just want to say this, like you, you got to wrap your head around this. Not only are they reusing the art style from the remake of Link's Awakening, they're using an art style they've already used on a remake to make a brand new game. And this is Nintendo we're talking about doing this. This is that's wild that they're doing. I never thought we'd see this art style again, let alone in a brand new 2D game. I figured if yeah. we were gonna see it, maybe like the Oracles games. You know what I mean? Something yeah. like that would make sense, maybe. But they don't really like to do that a lot. They don't really reuse stuff like that with Zelda games, especially. I mean, Tears of the Kingdom, and you know, there's been a few. You got your Wind Waker and then the, the 3DS games that kind of go along with that. They've done it, but not not in this way, which I thought was just very strange. I'm, I'm happy about it. I like I really like that art style. I don't know about you guys. The cartoon, like toy art style. Yes. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's great. I, I loved Link's Awakening. So, yeah, me too. I, I really, really liked it. You know what I'm pumped for? You know what I'm really pumped for? I haven't even announced it yet, but it's going to be sitting right beside my little uh toy link amiibo that <laughs> zelda amiibo that they're definitely going to have for this game they have to re-release the the link one too that yeah. one's been hard to get they I, have to re-release that one i i bought that the day i got link's awakening my switch light and that the day i started my youtube channel that was the very first video i did was unboxing the switch light and i bought those two things the same day too um the map is another thing that i really want to talk about because I, I was really looking at what this was. And if you look at some of it, the positioning of the castle, and then there's like this little like dirt field with the mounds, it's positioned just like uh just like uh Link to the Past map. And it has the big mountain in the back, but then you see way in the back on the opposite side, there's Death Mountain, which definitely wasn't in that map. So I feel like this is gonna be like a like a hybrid map of different 2D maps kind of put together. And I want to get into that a little bit further later, but I think that may have something to do with these rifts that have opened up. I think there's going to be some wild stuff, but uh, the map, I, I don't know. At first, I was like, okay, it's, is it Link's, uh, Link's Awakening map? Clearly not. No. But I, I do think it's going to be probably a, a mashup of, of different, different maps, yeah. different 2D maps. It looks that way. That That's an interesting take. I, I mean, I... I, I don't know the games quite like that well enough to to make that assumption, but I believe you. I mean, that makes, that makes and that makes sense. Like again, when we talked about in the members pod last night, um, they, they needed a reason to make another two D Zelda game because they weren't yeah. gonna, they weren't just going to make another one for the sake of making another one. They, they 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 care about Zelda too much, contrary to what I say as a joke. 
that they hate Zelda. Um, <laughs> you do say that a lot. I do. Man, it's a, it's a joke. I, you, you, you know, People the more, more I think about it, you are really positive on this show. You really are. You're like, Listen, uh, hey, you're like a we got a five star review sunshine. that said I am. I, I bring the positivity. You're a everybody. fucking ray of sunshine. Exactly. Man. You really are. Mm-hmm. It shines off me. Welcome to Philadelphia, bitches. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you were talking about. Uh, they the, don't. They're not just going to make a three D yes. or a two D Zelda just to make a two D Zelda. They need an excuse to make one, and their excuse was to really kind of change it up and make it something that's the most unique two D that they've ever done. And they certainly did that. Now every Zelda game has a gimmick, right? And even the two Ds, the gimmicks like the thing, right? And the the one I can think yeah. of most recently, uh, or, or most notably for me, is Link Between Worlds, where the painting mm-hmm. uh, gimmick. Love it, love it. I can't get enough of that gimmick. Um, so th- of course the 2D Zelda is going to have a gimmick in this game seems like it's that staff that Zelda has, but it's so far beyond the normal Zelda uh, 2D gimmick, this staff that she has, it, it it's, it's the, it, I mean, hopefully there's other ways of combat, which we'll get to in a second, but it seems that is the way you play the game is like, uh, you make these things called echoes, hence the echoes of wisdom. And these echoes are what you use for combat, but also how to get around the terrain there in a very similar, uh, likeness to tears of the kingdom where you mm-hmm. have like something like alter yeah. hand, um, or sticky hand as uh my one Twitch to I watch DB geek as he calls this, where you kind of put things together. Um, that that's kind of what this is. It's it's you you know clone a, a bed, and then yeah. you use that it's, bed to to, to scale kind of mountains a, yeah. and stuff. It's a sandbox. Or that you, you can clone, do things different ways. You clone a bokoblin, and then that bokoblin will then fight for you. Yeah, um, it's, it's basically the idea that Tears of the Kingdom introduced with the with Ultra Hand and all the the things you can do with their physics engine and all the different tools they give you to use it. They're basically moving that into the two D space. And basically saying you can play this game any way you want. Go find whatever bullshit you want and do it however you want, which is crazy. It's nuts that they're doing. They've never done something like that where they've brought like things that were in a 3D game that were big parts of a 3D game like that and brought them down into like a 2D thing like that. That this is, I mean, this is this is awesome. It's great. And I think they're honestly, and I said this a couple weeks ago, I think the whole reason they're doing this entire thing with Zelda as the playable character in this one is because eventually they're going to put that in the 3d game, the next 3d game, the big one on the switch two years down the line. I bet she's going to be a playable character in that. Maybe not the main character, but I bet she's going to have her own abilities, her own set of skills. And it might mirror something that we're seeing with this. Now it may not be the staff, but it may be just a different way to play to help you get around and, and solve puzzles or do whatever. I bet that's why they're doing it in a 2d game first. Uh, it's Jeff, the same thing any, as the uh, any thoughts on uh, <laughs> what we're talking about here? <laughs> yeah, so so I think it's this is a great direction for this kind of thing. Mm-hmm. They they easily could have just done like a link to the past remake. I would probably have bought that, but yeah. this is I like really would. this is really cool. Like I think the one thing that threw me off a little bit was they called it the tri rod, and and the- at, first, at first I was like. Excuse me. I don't know about that. <laughs> Sounds name. like an insult. What'd you just say? <laughs> Yours, Tri Rod. Uh, um, but uh, well, it's did fine. you see what the, did fine. you see what the name of the the fairy is? Try isn't it? The name of the fairy oh. is Try. Yeah, it's yeah, Tri Rod. Try hard Rod. Try hard Rod. Yeah. So when they said Try Rod, I was like, uh, I felt, I was like, I don't know about the, the name of that, but that's fine. But like, the just the being able to, I think like just. That was never a thing I think anyone could imagine no. back on like Game Boy Color or something. Oh, you know, yeah, no way. Older systems like to be able to like clone the bed and then make yeah. stairs out of a bed. Like <laughs> that's insane. I love that. And yeah. you know, I I wish you could uh hit things with the stick. Yes, I that's agree. That's Jeep's problem too. Yes. Uh, I even if it was like minimal damage, just to like hit an enemy away from you, I would love. To, I mean, I feel like that's still a satisfying thing from a Zelda game where you like you swing a sword and it hits an enemy and you get that like haptic feedback. Yeah, it's like if they don't have that in there, that's kind of lost. But at the same time, though, like that's that's really not what they want you to do. 
Yeah, they want they, you to throw out an enemy to fight for you or to like yeah, put a bed in between you and the enemy and run away. Toss it. Yeah, yeah. throw a rock. I I, I, mean, I have yeah. a very easy solution for that because I'm one of the people who, uh, as Power Med says, I hated the staff, which is not true. He I didn't hated, hate it. He was. I happy hated about the it. fact that that was the only way that they at least they showed us for combat. I want other ways of combat. I, I love Ultra Hand. I love everything that uh, that uh, Tears of Kingdom brought. All that stuff. I don't hate Ultra Hand. But if they said all you have is Ultra Hand, that, that and you have to pick up rocks and drop it on guys, or you know, I don't know if I like that all that much. And that's kind of how I feel about this. Is if that's all we have, I don't know if I love it. But if if what if the staff? Here's this really simple fix for people like me who don't like it. If the staff just had like an ability to where you could swing it, but not for melee, you you swing it, or at least you instead of swinging, maybe you release release energy, just release energy from the staff, like boo balls of energy. They go out and zoom and hit things, and maybe if they hit something that's not an enemy, they do something different. Try to rod it. balls. Try that's rod balls. I want try rod okay. balls, all, all right. of them, please. Um, but seriously, I think that would be a really nice addition to the try rod, and I, I don't know if we know everything about it. I don't know if I don't. You're still laughing. I'm not. I don't. I, I don't know. I just laugh. When you say try rod, but you're serious about it, it's just really funny. I'm sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> it's what it's called. It's right? very, wait, wait, like when you. When what, you that's the official industry name for this. Yes. Thing, so that's fine. This is a when you penis. Say it seriously, we it's refer like, to this gen gen genitals as penis. Yeah, no, anyway. Um, <laughs> So the tri rod, I, I think there's other ways that you can utilize it that, that maybe they haven't shown us yet. I feel like it's got to be other ways that you can utilize it. And hopefully one of those ways that you can play with it, your rod, is with balls. Uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Look at the smile on that guy's face. He's so proud. He is proud of himself. He's very proud of himself. He definitely is. Oh, yes, I am. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what sound he just played afterwards, but he's. I guarantee he's more proud of that than he is what he said. I, I don't. No, I don't no, have no, the, no, I don't have the live thing playing yeah. either, so I don't. I don't know what any of the sound, oh, other sound effects are. Oh boy. Okay. That's. I, I agree with you. I think there. I think you're probably right. I think you're onto something. There's probably going to be more ways. Am I, am, I onto the rod? Drip, am I onto the rod? Well, think about it. It is called the tri rod, and we're only seeing one way to use it. So maybe there are two other ways to use it. Well, maybe. I, I mean, it's called the tri rod because of the triforce. I mean, let's let's make that and the fairy's yeah. name is tri. Maybe. Let's be, I mean, maybe. Maybe there's also more uses to it, sure. But I mean, I think that's kind of a stretch to, to just assume that, that there's more to it because we'll of that. I don't know. We'll see. Alone. Um, do you know what else I noticed? Uh, you can jump. All the time. Like, you don't yeah. have to have anything equipped. You can just jump. Yep. Like, that's wild. That's crazy. 2D Zelda. Yeah. Just jump that, all the good time, point. no matter what. That's, that's a good new point. age Zelda stuff. That is. Yeah. That is some That is some next generation shit right makes, there. It makes us We're new, playing new Zelda generation games forever. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing new Zelda well, games. We don't even need the tri rod. You can jump. Back in my Done. day. Like, my, that's the gimmick. You my, can jump. My Zelda <laughs> game ran at 20 frames per second. <laughs> yeah. I was born in non-jumping Zelda games, molded by it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same. Um, maybe yeah. the man I am today. Uh, and Drip, you touched on it for a second with that with the the malice stuff that you fall through. I forget what it's called. Uh, but the story yeah. of this game is going to be wild. Yeah, I think so. Honestly, it, I think the the biggest question we have, and it's it's hard to even like start thinking about this until they they really. They kind of made me start thinking about it when I saw the the art, the uh, the cover art, because it's got obviously Zelda right there in front, but it's got Link and Ganon up there, too. So they are they're clearly part of this story. They may not be in the focus. You know what I mean? But they're going to be part of this story. So they went somewhere. They didn't just disappear. Where? Where have, does I, that go? I have a theory, Drip. I have a theory that you start the game playing with Link. And Possibly. that's that fight. The, f the first thing we see could be the it's first the thing part of the game. Is the opening yeah. part of the game. I imagine it is. It would have to be almost. Yeah. What are they doing? <laughs> Why are they doing? I guess more accurate. Well, that's what I'm saying. Do Why you, are they doing what they're doing? Is there a certain point when you go to wherever they're at? Is it low rule? Is that what is that what's down there? Is I, that a warp I, yeah, to that's another, another place? Yeah. Low. Oh my god! If they brought back low rule, oh that'd be so sick. That would be. 
be very cool. I don't know if that's what it is, but I mean, it does raise a lot of questions. Like, yes, where are they? Are you going to go? You know, is there going to be certain points in the game when you are playing as Link again and you're down there doing something? Are you going to travel there as Zelda? Will you get an ability with your tri rod to flip to low roll and play in low roll underneath? Kind of like a uh, a link to the past type of thing. The uh, the dark world and the light world, and you can move in and out. Yeah, no, maybe. I don't know. I, that, lots of lots of things. I, I just I want to know where they went. You yeah, ever seen I mean, that they... movie? You ever seen that movie Envy with Jack Black and Ben Stiller? No. Uh, the, Jack no. Black makes this spray, and. <laughs> And it, they spray it on dog poop, and it makes the dog poop disappear. Oh, I have seen And then this, the yes. question starts being like, where does the poop go? Where does it go? <laughs> where does it go? They keep asking. Like, everyone wants to know. Where did they? That's, that's, that's how I feel when I ask this question. Where did they go? They went somewhere. It's got to go somewhere. Where is it? Yeah. I, I, your prediction is as good as mine. I think that what, I mean, that's what know. makes a really good Zelda game is when we have more questions than we do answers going into it, that, that that's what Tears of the Kingdom had going for it. It's with so many questions. And the hype uh, was real with Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, it was it was for real. And uh, I have a fly who just is constantly flying around my face, touching my nose, touching my my cheeks, my legs. Very distracting. I apologize if I'm making weird gestures. I killed one earlier and, and now there's another one just came up. Like these little baby gnat things. They drive me up a wall. Anyway, just want to acknowledge that because I'm, I'm, I'm moving my hands all over. <laughs> um, all right. September 26th, though. Yes. Pumped. Coming this year. And Drip. Pretty soon. Yes. Drip and Jeff. We talked about this earlier uh, in the pre-show, I think. Is this game of the year? Yeah, that's an interesting That's an interesting question because there's not a whole fucking lot coming out this year. Mm-hmm. I mean, what, what, PlayStation, what's coming out? Helldivers came out. That's not game of the year. <laughs> I mean, some PlayStation people might tell you that, but I mean, I don't know. I I can't. And not, nothing off the top of my head that's big enough that I'm like, because I know. I mean, PlayStation, Microsoft, or, uh, Sony, Sony said like they're not putting out a bunch of heavy hitters this year. They said that at the beginning of the year. Yeah. I mean, this may just be like the the shoe in, just because it doesn't have a lot of competition. <laughs> That'd be I mean, crazy if Tears of the Kingdom loses game of the year, but Echoes of Wisdom wins the year after as a 2D game. How wild would that be? What one game of the year last year? Uh, it wasn't Mario Baldur's Wonder. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate? That's right. Well deserved. That's right. Yeah. Um, I Man, the more and more I think about this, they really did just line this up like perfectly. <laughs> last year was the 2D Mario. This year's the 2D Zelda. Like, it's all falling into place, Jeeb. It is. I feel like I feel like Nintendo's getting a little bit more predictable because we did talk about this. We talked about this oh. a little bit. Like, there's an know. episode from earlier this year that we talked about 2D Zelda. How was time? Yeah, we got the 2D Mario, 2D Zelda's turn. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're becoming a little more predictable, which is uh, good. Is it good? I don't know. Well, drip. yeah, game of the year. Well, Just drip. give it game of the year. Now. Se segue of the year. Uh, they they are becoming slightly predictable, but as we know, drip. Nintendo can do anything they oh God. want, Good God. whenever they want, wherever they want, including just dropping gameplay, not a trailer, gameplay of a video game that was originally announced eight years ago. It's been a and while. That is exactly what they did yesterday. They dropped Metroid Prime 4 named beyond and with how do we feel about the name uh, how do we feel about the name i don't know beyond stoked <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i think beyond is a really cool it's a really cool name i mean they're probably gonna name it anything i wouldn't have been gonna name it something really weird and i wouldn't be upset but like yeah that seems really cool because it's like <laughs> metroid prime 4 sorry <laughs> so the bunch of R's. So <laughs> we we put it out eventually. It's here. The <laughs> gameplay. Yeah. Jeez. I think that was the thing. Like when it when it spun and went to like the the visor thing. The visor. Yeah. Yeah. 
when I was watching that, I, I immediately was like, is this gameplay? <laughs> yeah. Like, I watched your reaction, really Jeff. It was, like... it was good, man. You were real mellow. You're a mellow guy in general. But like <laughs> yeah. watching your reactions was, it was pretty mellow. But you took your mellow and made like an, if you, somebody could be mellow amped, that's what you were. You were still mellow. <laughs> But you were amped mellow. And like you got more intense as you watched more. And I was like living vicariously through you. Like how <laughs> amped you were getting. I'm like, oh, it's getting me pumped too. I got to be honest. When I saw it though, I didn't know. Because I haven't played Metroid Prime 2 or 3. I didn't know if this was those or four. Until they showed it at the end. I was like, okay, what am I looking at? Because I don't know. I don't know what the other two games yeah. look like. And then I, I was like, this looks really good. Did they, did they do what they did to one? I didn't know, but then I went back and watched it, and I was like, "Okay, never mind. That looks." Did you guys that looks a see? Lot better than, did you guys than one remastered? Did you a guys, lot better? Did you see Arlo's reaction to Metroid Prime Four, the trailer? <laughs> no. Oh yeah. my god! I'll have to watch. That. I went down a YouTube rabbit hole. I know Arlo has really good reactions, but I've never seen a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, I've seen felt some of them, but not a lot of them. I saw the one yesterday, and it set me down a rabbit hole of watching all of Arlo's reactions to trailers. He is the master of reactions. And if if, if I if any guys, if I recommend you guys go down any YouTube hole tonight, that would be Arlo's reactions to Nintendo Direct announcements or game trailers. It's just yeah. chef's kiss. I'll just leave it right there. Please go check him out. But I gut laughed. For like an hour, watching him <laughs> react to everything. Um, anyway, it looks good though. It, it looks, looks fantastic. It looks going back and looking so at good. it again, yeah. Look, going back and looking at it again, I was I was definitely confused on which one it was at first. But like I said, seeing it again, going back and really looking at the gameplay, I mean that shit looks insanely good. It's crazy good. I'm surprised they didn't put out. I didn't surprise we didn't see two and three though. A little surprised about that. At this point, they're they're stuck on, you know. Well, I mean, you can play two on GameCube or the Wii. The Wii. Or, or I think the Wii U via the Virtual Console. I think you can play all three. Uh, the yeah the, the yes. trilogy. G, I, you bought the trilogy did, on the Wii U. I actually forgot that I bought it on the Wii U, but I'm not going to play it unfortunately because it uses the waggle, and I hate the waggle, and I refuse to play any game. With a waggle, Listen, man, I was not. Was I was not a Nintendo. Was a vibe, dude. I was the not a, was a vibe, I was okay? not a Nintendo fan during the Wii era. I'm, I, and I won't be now. <laughs> I think the Wii U is a better I, console than the Wii, personally. But it's also yeah, kind of I the same too, thing, actually. but better. Hot take, maybe. Yeah, but it, I mean, uh, it yeah. The waggle sucks, but I do own them that way. But I'm not going to play them that way. If anything, I'll, I'll figure out how to emulate them with button control on the Steam Deck. If I'm going to do that. But I have hopes that this yeah. game they're going to come out for the Switch 2. I really do. In a remastered form, even. Yeah. I mean, I hope they, they do it. I mean, even if they even if they just <clears throat> give them widescreen support or whatever and just put the joystick controls in and just slap yeah, it on the like, Switch, I, that's what I think it doesn't need to get. be touched up all that much. Because 2 and 3 look really good compared to the first one did on GameCube. So, like, they don't really need to do a lot. I mean, I think Actually, the Wii I don't think is HD, right? So it's not. No, is it widescreen at least? Here's the thing, though. Yes. Here's yes, the, here's the thing about is, that, I though. Think. The Wii, yeah, it is. I think Nintendo has pigeonholed themselves with this, with, with with Metroid Prime Two and Three. I think they have to remaster them. They do. Well, they have to yeah. put them out. And here and here's they what, have to at well, least put them out. But no, they don't have to. No, no, they don't have to. They, oh, they, they, they can will. do anything they want. Any whatever it is, yeah. whatever it's stupid. Thing but they, they, they they don't have to though. But I think they will. Guaranteed, especially bef maybe before Prime, uh, Prime Four, but I doubt it. I think maybe just one of them before, because they're not going to just drop two remasters at once. I think what they're going to do is they're going to wait to twenty twenty five, sometime in the year, and eventually drop two remastered. And the reason they have to remaster it, yes, the games are great as is. They don't have to do that. That's almost the exact reason why they have to do it because they look great, but they don't look anywhere damn close to what the Magic Retro Studios did with Prime One. There is no way in yeah. hell. Miss Jeeve, the mic is on. <laughs> well, if they put them out together, though, if they put them out as one and two together and just give them, you know, whatever, widescreen support, touch them up a little bit here and there, make them yeah. look decent enough. <laughs> Sorry about that. They did the same thing with Pikmin uh, 1 and 2. 
They did the same yes. thing and they yes. shadow dropped. Let me, let me, now, let me, okay, let me let me get your guys' opinion on this. Let me give you a scenario. You guys tell me what you think, okay? Yeah. Let's say, because we're gonna talk about this. Is this a a switch to release title? We'll get to that. I don't think it is, but what I want to say is what if we get um let's just say at whatever the next time they decide to show us this game. Uh, we get a story trailer, right? Because we didn't get a story trailer. We got gameplay first. We got no story trailer, so we're de- we're gonna get a story trailer. Yeah. What yeah. if when we get the story trailer, that's when they're like, okay, here's the release date, and while you wait, here's two and three, and it's dropping today. I still feel like I, that's possible. <clears throat> I had thought that. I mean, it's very possible that this was the last direct of the year but they normally do have one in september yeah so they easily could wait until september and then shadow drop two and three then with a story trailer or whatever of or some more of a yeah. trailer for uh-huh. time for and then maybe give us a more certain release date or even just not even just say 2025 yeah. but we know they're not going to talk about switch 2 for a while they're probably not going to talk about it until next year so if um if it is a Switch 2 game, we won't know. Yeah, we're not gonna know. We're definitely not gonna see I, that's the thing. I, I like where you're at with that. The September direct is a is a yes, no, maybe, who knows? Because I feel like I feel like this was probably the last one for the Switch. I feel like by September, we're not gonna be getting directs. We're gonna be talking about the next system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, let's, 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 talk about, that, let's talk about that. Releasing. I I really think the next system is gonna release. I know they said they're going to talk about it before March, but I think it's going to be released in March. Let's I think talk, they're doing it on let, Mario Drip, Day. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about, um, first of all, first question before we get to that. Is this the best Nintendo Direct we've ever seen? Ever? Ever. I don't know about ever, but it was damn good. See, I don't... I, I don't. It's I don't the best think Nintendo it's... Direct we got this June. <laughs> it is. It is. I, I will agree with that 100%. I don't... Right, yep. It's hard. That's that's hard to uh, hard to argue against. We've had in a while. Yes, yeah. it is. I, Especially and- since, like, really since all of last year. I mean, we got the one direct with uh, which was last June, I think, right when we got uh, Mario Wonder was the last thing. I, I, I asked mean, that, that question. Was a, it was an okay direct. I asked that question knowing the answer that there is no such thing as a the best direct because every direct is not aimed for every person. And because of that, not everybody's going to think every direct is the same quality. So naturally there is no such thing as the best direct. It's a personal opinion question. And I guess I asked to you guys, can you recall a better direct for you personally than this one? The answer could be yes or no. I'm not, there's no like narrative here. I want to know honestly what you guys can think. Yeah, I just made a f- I made a full video about this. You can go watch it. I ranked all of the directs <laughs> in the Switch era. Nobody watched it, so if you haven't seen it, go go check that one out. I said plug there. I'll go. Group. I'll watch it. I'll go watch it. Uh, um, yeah, I, all mine were just stuff when they talked about Tears of the Kingdom or all my S tiers were yeah. Tears of the Kingdom related, and they were most E threes whenever they were talking about that. So that was the big stuff for me of the Switch era. I mean, the hype that was just surrounding tears of the kingdom and the build up. It was just fun. Like that's what I remember about the entire switch era is just the build up to tears of the kingdom. And you know, the game before that, it was cool. But like from the time we got that first teaser trailer, every single time, I just, I don't think this lives up to that. It was very good, especially for where we're at in the switch's life. Amazing. I'm going to give this. It's an A. It's an A, especially when you consider where we're at yeah. in the Switch's life and what they just, I mean, they they didn't have, these weren't just ports. There were some ports. There were some remakes, whatever, but it was new games. Lots of them. Lots of them. First party new games. I mean, you can't, yeah. you can't knock it. What especially you, what this you, deep. Jeff? Just this deep, it's, you know, it's, they don't do this. It's a, today. it was a, this, I mean, <laughs> I keep having these, these thoughts on this direct, like, or that like kind of suppress it in my mind is not being as good as I think it is. And then every time someone will say something and be like, you know what? That's right. Because there was like at least five or six different things from this direct that I was so happy about. Yeah. Uh, starting out immediately through the gates with a brand new game. Yep. Yeah. You know, Mario and Luigi, the one chip challenge. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, immediately when I saw Mario and Luigi and it was a, it didn't look like anything I've seen before, I'm like, wow, that they're really doing this immediately. Yeah. They, 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 knew, they knew that bet was going on. They uh, watched Jess. our podcast the <laughs> they night knew. before and they were like, you know what? They routinely Move Mario and Luigi to the front. Fuck it. Put it in the front. No, but for real though, like that's a series that hasn't had a game in nine years. Yeah. The original development team that made the other ones closed. Oh, so, really? Yeah, they went out of business. So okay. who knows if who knows if it's a different team making this? Who knows if any of the people from the original company has anything to do with it? Maybe they hired them all up and, and said, hey, you're going to make a new one for us. Who knows? I mean, they might not even say, but... So, yeah. let me answer my own question. For me... I think for me personally, oh, I hold, start- on, hold on, Jeff. What's your letter grade? Oh yeah, I'm giving. I'm giving an A. Absolutely. A. a. Yeah. Even it's if, not an S, even if, but it's an A. I agree. I mean, even if even if they only show that Metroid Prime Four trailer and then said goodbye, I would yeah. have rated it an A. You they, fucking they, tan. A tan. Drip, you have they, the, you have the luxury of just right you have the luxury of just making that video, and you were able to also have that luxury of like looking at all the directs side by side and yeah. really well, comparing. You edited it. Yeah, but I was editing it. I wasn't listening to what you're saying. I was oh. <laughs> making sure you didn't sound like an idiot. That's my job. <laughs> you know Thank that. You. Um, Appreciate you. But uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I, I, I just forget, honestly. I, I do the work and I forget. It's what I do. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I just oh, yeah. look back at every single direct. Yes, yes. I did have the luxury of, of so, so having I that knowledge yes. very fresh in my mind. Yes. Yeah, sorry. So I, I don't have that luxury, at least at the, not at this moment, to really kind of compare them and everything. Um, but also, you got to remember, too, for me, I didn't start ma- watching Nintendo Directs until we started basically doing this podcast. And that happened around 2021. Mm-hmm. And probably late, you know, that my first direct was in 2021. So I don't have a huge direct sample size to look at for my favorite direct. So, I got I got to look at back at the, the tears of Kingdom directs, but I have a feeling this is like the best direct that I've seen, for sure. I think so. I okay. it, 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 I, I actually I'm gonna put it S tier. I'm gonna put it S tier. Wow. It's at the bottom until contingent on what I did, what I need to see about the tears of the kingdom ones. But like for me, the directs that I've seen, S tier. I mean, I can't recall a direct outside of tears of the kingdom that's made me this excited. Prime 4 made me mm. super excited. This new 2D game makes me really excited. I think yeah. Tears Kingdom was more hype for me for that specific announcement, but outside of that, the rest of the announcements in the direct were kind of like, mm, you know, that's fun, that's cute, but give me Zelda. That's what those directs were like. You know, we this didn't even di- t- this didn't direct even talk was like, about- oh, Switch Sports is awesome. It's 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 not like a big heavy hitter, but it's awesome, and I love it for me. Um, the you know Metro Prime Four and Zelda is awesome. There's just a lot of things in there that to Bro, me the hit the gold right note. Switch Light. We totally forgot, forgot to, about yeah, that. Yeah, we forgot about we that. Totally forgot Dude, about that. Dude, that's awesome. It, 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 I, listen, yeah. I think the Skyward Sword Joy Cons are my favorite hardware to date for Zelda hardware. But those, that's a that's a close second. That's a better looking switch than the Tears of the Kingdom one. Hot take. No, it is. That's a better looking one. I'm sorry. I agree. I, I hate that. It, I hate that it is because it's got a shit screen on it compared I, to the OLED. But damn it, I'm buying it anyway. Yeah. You, Woo! Well, you know, other other than that too, uh, that we didn't talk about, uh, Zelda Four Swords Adventure. Yeah. I mean to switch uh, switch online. Yeah. With having online multiplayer. So it'll be like the yes. first time in a long time that a lot of people could actually play Jeep. with four players. Said the same thing last night. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's like, I mean, otherwise you would have to have what four, you'd have to have four people with Game Boy advances that had to keep the game. Yeah. And you had to have the cable situation Yeah, to be able to connect it all and the time to sit there and play it. Right. Now it's just, you just have to be what friends on. Yeah. On, on online on or whatever. The switch. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, uh, yeah. the only barrier is that you have to awesome. have the expansion pass. But outside of that, true. That's if you true, got the but... expansion pass and you have a switch, obviously you can play with anybody. There's no link I, cables. I was immediately going on like discords and stuff, being like, "Who wants to play this with? Me? Like, <laughs> yeah. Let's play this. I've never played it. I would love to. Let's like, yeah, I've played a little bit of it, and I just was like, I I didn't like it because I had to play it by myself. Right. So yeah, I mean, like Jeep said. I, 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 he was saying that last night. Like, dude, we can play online. We can all play together. Like, think about it. Like, how many people actually played this game the way it was meant to be played? Not a lot. Yeah. Not a lot. 
Why didn't they just so do that, two that swords? Like thing. that's question. I mean, that's like a weird thing to think about. Like, did Nintendo really expect like a lot of people to have four people or three people with themselves? Uh, four people, including himself, in their life, who all had Game Boy Advances with that copy of the game with link cables. Did did they yes. really? Did they really think that? They sure did. I can't believe they thought that. I guarantee you, like the if you, you know, when I die, one of the questions I'll ask God is how many people played Four Swords, like with four players, with four with players, all linked players up, yeah, all linked up. And how like, many of them actually beat the game that way? Exact. Oh yeah, and it's zero. <laughs> What, what do you do? Can you also ask how many people played Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles on the GameCube with all four <laughs> people having Game Boy Advances connected to the GameCube with that oh, special cable? Oh, well, that, that's a, I mean, you just trumped that. That's a one up right there. Yeah. That's, that's even, a lot. It, like, happened, it happened once. Yeah, some, <laughs> it happened once. It's, 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 there's people time. out there that have done it. And those are, but they're legends at this point. They yes, are, yeah. They sure legends. Are. are you one of the people, Jeff? Are you one of those people? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. Nope. Um, let's. We're we're about done here, but uh, let's wrap it up on this last subject. When is the next Nintendo Direct? September. Really? You really think so? I think so. I. Mm. I, I do not. If I don't, I don't know. Maybe? It's going to be some kind of direct. It may not be, you know, if it's oh, not no, no, a full-on no, Nintendo Direct. Not a partner showcase. Not an, indie, and not an indie Direct. I'm not. Those don't count in this particular question. Okay. I'm talking about if, like this one was. if uh, Even if it's a half of it. 25 to 40 minute Nintendo Direct. When's the next one? Full Direct. I'm still saying September. Really? I'm still going to say it. Maybe you were the most I mean, optimistic yeah. person I've ever seen, okay, my well, friend. Listen, if that's the looking case, looking back, I did just look, <laughs> again. I just looked back at all the directs. The strong, there's some strong directs in September. September has had some some pretty stout directs. I mean, I just don't know if they're gonna. I don't know if they're gonna. We have the lineup. We're good. We're done. We have it. They've already told us the Switch Two is going to be talked about. You know, the, the announcement is imminent. We don't know when it's going to be, but it's coming soon at some point. I feel like, and I, we, we've done a whole podcast about this, but I still, I got a hold, I got a hold of what I said. I think September is when we get the, we get to see it. They show us again a little bit into the end of the, or the beginning of the year. It's released on March 10th on my birthday, also Mario Day. <laughs> and I get a Switch 2 for Christmas from Jeep. He buys me one. I think that's how it's going to go down. Wait, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be the other way around because I work for you and you give me your money? But it's my birthday. You want me Jeez. to give you back the money you gave me? I want you to use it to buy me a Switch too, if you don't mind, for uh, my birthday. Uh, we'll, we'll talk, uh, son. That's, come on, man. It's my birthday. <laughs> I got chess to play you music on your birthday. That's the best game you, you did, ever got. You did. That was actually really cool. <laughs> that was super um, cool. Man, I I wish I shared that optimism with you, Jeff. I I don't think that it's happening in September. I I if Power Mad in the chat actually kind of nailed what I think as well. It's February, February. next year. I, I think it's got to be February next year. And, and we've already heard about the Switch Two, and we start seeing Switch Two titles by February. We're going to hear about the Switch Two, if not in February. But I think September this year is more likely to we we were going to see something about the Switch Two. I think that's what that at least a tweet. <laughs> you know, a tweet for an announcement. For late, for next for 2025, like in Q1 of 2025, you know, like something like that or whatever. Jeeb, do you mean an X post? No. No. Oh. We're not calling it that. Thank you, Jeff. You're my best friend. Let's make you the, the podcast <laughs> host. Forget Drew. Um, yeah. I, I think we can wrap it up on that. Guys, if you're in the stream, make sure to stick around. Don't go anywhere. We're doing here a couple minutes at the after show. Uh, but first... You guys can find Jeff on YouTube. You can find him on TikTok. You can find him on Twitch. All the links should be down below. Jeff, where else can people find you? I I have an account uh, anywhere where there's some kind of social media. There's probably a Jeff Droidvania account. Well, good. Follow him on all the Jeff Droidvanias. Yeah. And make sure to spell it right because I'm an idiot and was spelling his name wrong like 14 different times because it's, I was saying like vein, like the, the Vania part. For some reason, I was spelling it V A I. 
N I A. I don't know why I was doing that. It just I don't know. My dyslexia phonetically spelling. I don't know. I messed it up that way. <laughs> yeah, but, that's definitely what it was. <laughs> but don't make sure to spell it correctly. Anyway, it's not that hard. It's Jeff Troidvania on all of the places. Make sure to follow yeah. him all the places. Jeff, thank you so much for coming on, dude. This was a yeah, ton of thank fun. Thank you, dude. But looking forward to having you again. It was fun. Awesome, Drip. Get off the show. You're fired. Uh, and awesome. for everybody, everybody else, we'll see you in the after show. If you're listening to audio platforms or on the YouTube VOD, we will see you guys next week. Later. Bye.